What's up everybody, it's The Biz. I'm back again with another YouTube video. Today I wanna to talk about my BTA tank. Now, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please take a second and click the subscribe button below. Go ahead and click the bell so you'll be notified whenever I release any new videos. Now let's go ahead and get on into this tank. This tank was started in late 2017. This is a deep blue sea 30 gallon frag tank, rimless. I really like the rimless look, but my biggest concern right now is getting a screen top for this. Now my livestock, I just added two black and white clownfish. This is the latest thing that I've added to this tank. I have two red bubble tip anemones. One is a clone of the other one. I have one rainbow BTA, one green with red tips BTA, and I have a green kind of with pinkish tips BTA that I got a, a month or so ago, but it hasn't really brightened up yet. It's still kind of small, kind of hiding down almost in a corner, but hopefully this one will uh, come out of its shell and, and look fabulous like it did in the store. Now, I also have a rock nim, so most of these are bubble tips, but I did want to have other type of anemones in the tank. Now, I also have a lot of other inverts. I have a blue linka starfish, I have two skunk cleaner shrimp, I have five peppermints, and two emerald crabs. That rounds out all the livestock in this tank as of right now. Now let's talk about the equipment on this tank. It is a deep blue rimless 30 gallon frag tank. It is running Apex of course for control. I have a Radeon G3 with an RMS mount. I have an MP10 that I use for flow. Now this tank is plumbed into my 180 gallon display, so since it shares the water, the levels are the same as my normal 180 gallon tank, so that makes it a little bit more stable and adding an extra 30 gallons to your total water supply, I thought was a good idea, so it is plumbed into the main system. So what is a reef tank? if it doesn't have its problems. A lot of times I think that um, this hobby is really a problem solving hobby and we are drawn to try to fix all of the issues that pop up in our tanks. So let's go ahead and get into this. Now I started this tank out with dry rock. Of course you have all the normal issues you'll have with dry rock. It's white at first and then it starts getting real ugly and it takes months for all the rock to at least look a lot better. So I had those issues. The next big issue I had is with bubble algae. Started to get bubble algae all over the tank. Now in my 180, I have tangs, so any bubble that comes up, any algae that comes up, I could expect the tangs will take care of it pretty quickly. Well in this tank, I didn't have that, so the bubble algae just went all over the place. I got a couple of emerald crabs and that has pretty much solved the bubble algae issue that I've been having. The next big issue was Aptasia. Now, I have peppermint shrimps in the 180, so any kind of Aptasia that I see, eventually the peppermint shrimps will eat it and I won't see it anymore. I rarely see Aptasia in my 180 right now. With this tank, I didn't have anything to eat the Aptasia, so of course they multiplied. Now, the first thing I did was I went out and I brought Aptasia eating nudibranchs. I actually had two separate sets of these and both sets, they would eat a couple of Aptasia, then they'd disappear, I'd never see them again and the Aptasia would start to multiply again. Did it again, same thing happened. So that's when I went out and I bought the peppermint shrimps. Now the peppermints have been taking care of the Aptasia. I'm only seeing a few that I think the peppermints would have a hard time getting to kind of up higher on the glass, but it is what it is. Hopefully these last few Aptasia will disappear shortly. Well, that's it for the update of my bubble tip tank. Hope you enjoyed taking a look at it. Uh, it's always nice starting a new tank. You have new challenges, you know, different livestock, different stocking issues. So like I said, it's always nice to, to have multiple tanks. It's that multiple tank syndrome that you hear a lot of the more advanced reefers talking about. Well, like, comment, subscribe. Hey, if you know any tricks to get my anemones to host my clownfish. Let me know. I definitely love to see these clowns going all through them. 
I'm going to try to let nature take its course. But like I said in the comments, let me know how you got your clownfish to dive into your nims. As always, YouTube, happy reefing. Take care.